Hello and welcome my snail macopters. How you doing today, man? We've got medium, military only, monkey meadows. Oh my god, ridiculous amount of M's right there, dude. If I was eating some M&M's, that would be awesome, because I love M&M's. But sadly, we're not. We're playing military only right now. So the way to do this is with the snipers, guys. Do the snipers. They are they're some of the best towers in the game, surprisingly, especially on areas where they've got full uh, vision throughout the entire map. There's no line of sight issues or anything like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off by spamming quite a few snipers. You know, if you look at our towers down in the bottom here, guys, check this out. We've got Quincy, which of course is an amazing, amazing hero. We love him. He's good and delicious and amazing. But, he costs 700 bucks and we only got 650 bucks to start. So, unless we want to tank the lives of the first round, uh, we can't do a Quincy start. Then, when you look at the submarine and the buccaneer, really, you're like, well, crap. I wish I had some water right now, man. It's like being in the desert and, uh... You know, there's no water in sight, there's just a little well in the distance, and it's dry, man, it's dry. And then you slowly burn to a crisp. That's what I feel like right now, because I have not been able to use the submarine or the buccaneer in any of the maps that I've played so far. So, it does kind of suck, but, uh, you know, we'll get used to it eventually. Then moving on, we still got the monkey ace and the heli pilot, which are kind of strong towers over here, but of course they're really expensive, and they're just not good starting towers either. Like, heli pallets okay, but you have to micro the entire time. It can be a little bit of a pain for a lot of mobile players out there. If you're playing on Steam, it's not a big deal. You can use the mouse to run around and everything. But for now, uh, it's, it's gonna be a big deal. So here we go! Quincy! Woo! There he is. So what you could do is, if you really wanted to be crazy, man, you could try and sell a couple snipers, maybe on round three or four. Just sell all your snipers and switch to Quincy. But you're probably better off not doing that. And the main reason why is that Quincy uh, is strong, but he may not be able to pop all the balloons as efficiently as you might think as just a low level 1, level 2 hero. Yeah, he's solid, but he can't pop everything. Some balloons might end up sneaking through. So you guys know that I like to do the No Lives Lost walkthroughs. Uh, you know, whenever possible, I do the No Lives Lost. If I end up not getting No Lives Lost, I don't hate myself or anything like that. I just realize that it is a, a hard level. It's a hard game mode. There's got to be some sort of issues going on over there. That uh, basically made it, make it so it's not possible. On top of the fact that you don't get road spikes with any of these guys, man. Of course, you got the power spikes and the power upgrades over here. We're not going to use any of that garbage to beat this easy, easy Monkey Meadows map, man. This is the easiest map in the game over here. So when we look at our, our, our money right now, it's obviously really, really good. You might be thinking, oh, man, you're going to upgrade yeah. Quincy over here? You're going to get a Heli Palakras? What the heck are you going to do? I'm actually going to go for a sniper upgrade. Oh, yeah, full metal jacket, faster firing, and even faster firing over here. And, you know, I really wouldn't mind going for a Heli Palakras, though. You know, let's... What? Oh. Oh, I got a little confused there, man. I'm like, I just bought that thing. I just bought it, and it's gone! Don't forget about your hero abilities, by the way. We've got Quincy's... Uh, crossbow extreme upgrade thing on Bob. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it makes him shoot really, really fast. If you're ever in some trouble, guys, don't feel bad about using that thing. Alright, guys, it's time. I'm gonna lock this guy in place. Uh, just kind of in the front here. Just kind of let him do his thing. I don't feel like he's gonna be that important to be running around, popping all the balloons and anything yet. Eventually, if we can, I'd love to get him up to pursuit. But for now, this is what he does. Now, one thing that, that that's sort of weird for me is the fact that I love using the heli pilots. Uh, you know, in, in in battles, I love them. They're always cute and gooey and just running around, and their blades are really, really cool looking and everything. Um, in battles, they're like super duper powerful. They're just really fun to use. And that's why I feel like I like to use them so gosh darn much. On top of that, they're pretty powerful, guys. Um, Infinite range is, is something that uh, you, you can't underestimate, guys. When you have infinite range or the ability to go anywhere on the map, it makes you just that much more powerful. So you're probably like, Chris, you have almost 3,000 something odd dollars over here. What are you going to spend this on? Well, one of the most powerful towers in the game is the semi automatic rifle over here. Uh, for BTD5, for BTD6, and for BTD battles, it is extremely, extremely powerful. Just make sure you've got him on strong. And that's going to make him even more powerful. In fact, it's actually not too bad to leave your two other snipers on first. Just so this guy can be more powerful attacking those strong blues. Nice. Now, we're going to go up to large caliber over here. You can already see the huge difference that we've got in, uh, in amount of pop power. So, Quincy's got 1,600, and this sniper's got 1,700. So, those are my two main towers here. The other guys have 500. The Heli Pality only has 700. And I know they've been around for a little bit less long, but it just shows how powerful that sniper actually is. So... 
let's work on our heli pilot now. Let's get the, the bigger jets and the IFRs. Now I have cam detection for this guy. Uh, we got some camel balloons coming around 37 and 42, so I want to make sure I don't run out. Also do it for the quad darts, and I'm going to go for it, man, the Pursuit. So it's kind of nice when you switch to the Pursuit, when you buy the upgrade, it actually automatically changes the targeting for you. So you don't have to go back over here and be like, oh no, i got to change it to Pursuit, blah, blah, blah. No, it just automatically changes for you, which, in my opinion, is freaking delicious. As delicious as snails riding helicopters, getting chopped up into little tiny baby pieces, and then <laughs> slurping it down your throat. You know, believe it or not, I've never actually had escargot. I, that's something that I actually do want to try, sadly. I feel like I have to try everything at some point in my life. Some people like them. They have to be... They have to be okay, at least. I mean, I want to get them prepared reasonably well and make sure I don't get any parasites out of those things. Because <laughs> snails do surprisingly have a lot of parasites on them. So we're getting to round 40 here. You might think, oh, crackers, you can't defend him up, can you? Oh, man, with a semi-automatic rifle? Heck, yeah, I can. Look at that deliciousness right there, dude. Look at that. Easily take it down. And like the first few seconds of the map right there, those snipers are powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another monkey ass over here, mainly because I actually want to get experience for this guy. I haven't been able to get the high enough upgrades to make him worthwhile. So we got 20 more rounds to gain some experience. Let's pop just a couple monkey asses in here and just let him shoot some darts all over the place, man. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like the monkey asses should have automatic cam detection. You got to buy them. I feel like the darts are, like, randomly shooting. Why can't they randomly shoot camo balloons? You know? Come on. Come on. You don't have to aim. I mean, of course, when you get Nevimus targeting and stuff, you actually are aiming. But still, you should just get automatic cam detection for those monkey aces. That would make them so much better for the lower tier upgrades. Change one of those, those camo upgrades. I think it's the 020 upgrade to extra rapid fire or something like that. I don't know, man. It doesn't have to be too fancy. Just something. Just a something something. So, uh, I'm still a little worried about my camo detection, so what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm actually going to go for a higher level sniper for the middle road. We're going to go boom, boom, bouncing bullet, and then I still really just can't do the fast firing uh, bottom two upgrades if I'm getting a 0-3-2. I'd rather get the full metal jacket large caliber over here. It's just so much more powerful. I've got him on first. Um, I don't really feel like it matters all that much at this point in the game. We're on round 48. It's not like we're going to end up losing to some stupid little balloons over here. What else we got, man? Let's pop down a couple more monkey aces. We definitely got the money. Just a bunch of zero zeros. Let them, let them pop some balloons, dude. <laughs> let them go to town, man. What kind of experience are we going to get over here? And this is one amazing thing about the game. If you are dominating, if you're doing an absolutely amazing job and killing all the balloons, don't feel bad about just gaining some experience on those towers that you don't use all that often. Military monkeys for the win! And really, by military monkeys, I mean ridiculous amounts of monkey aces over here. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Camo balloons, dude. Camo balloons getting a little feisty over here. But it looks like with all that stuff together, man, we do take them down. Oh my god, round 51 is a little more difficult than I thought it would be. <gasps> I actually had Quincy's uh, ability that I should have used over here. That would help me out so gosh darn much. So I have no idea how many pops these monkey aces are actually getting, but it seems pretty reasonable. I mean, 180, 30 bucks <laughs> for 800 bucks, man. I mean, that's, that's pretty bad, actually. Even so, let's get one of these guys upgraded to a re pretty reasonable level. We're going to get a fire plane over here. And then, ooh, we can buy Operation Torch Storm finally. Oh, heck yeah. So I was waiting on that thing. Oh, finally getting some experience over here. We can go for a bomber race and an Operation Dart Storm. I really do want to test these guys out. So it's $3,000 to get this Operation Dart Storm. Let's see how good he is. Boom, Operation Dart Storm. All right, so it's kind of difficult to see actually how many balloons he's going to actually pop. But we can look at the uh, little balloon counter over here. You can see... Uh, when there's a lot of balloons on the screen, he's gonna be popping a lot. Oh, man, more camo balloons. There we go. Now we got the spy planes. Those camo balloons shouldn't be a big deal for us. Um, on top of having the monkey ace over here and every- or the- the heli pilot and everything. Man, those camo balloons are surprisingly difficult, though, with the- the- the military monkeys. I've got two of these guys with, uh, a pretty decent amount of camo protection over here, and they're still causing some problems for me. It's probably because I spent about $8,000 on random 00 monkey aces. <laughs> That's probably the main reason why. Maybe this isn't the best guide ever, but at least it's a fun one for us, right? Military monkeys. Military monkey aces. Uh, but I did want to try out this bomber ace right here, even though it's only already around 59. I really don't have much time to, to see what he's going to do over here. But uh, if we look at the pop count, it's actually pretty low. 
Oh, you get to see those bombs, though, man. Whoa, Nellies. Pretty freaking cool over here. And we level up for the end of round 60. Absolutely perfect, man. More monkey knowledge and bam, victory is ours. An extra 125 monkey money to add into my pocket down there, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me. I'd appreciate it a bunch. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.